So, you spent the big money. You bought the laser cutter and engraver, or you bought a 3D printer, and now you're wondering, should I have both? This is the Cindy Lou Who sign. Give me five minutes, and I'm going to tell you why this is important and why you should have both a 3D printer and a laser cutter and engraver. So how did the Cindy Lou sign come about? I decided to make a 3D sign with my laser cutter and engraver. I have an Omtech 100 watt. And after I made the sign, I looked at it and I decided, well, you know, it'd be nice to have a, a uh, lighted base for this. Well, you can't go buy that. So I made one using my 3D printer. I have a Creality K1 Max 3D printer. And with that, I can make things that never existed before. If it's something that I can buy on Amazon or eBay or go to the hardware store, that's great. That's where I go. But if I can't do that, I make it on my 3D printer. And that was the case here. Now, this was done for fun for a friend. But if I had been doing this as a business, this was a custom design sign with a custom design base that all lights up at night for their front porch. I don't know what it would sell for, but it would probably be certainly hundreds of dollars. So if you're looking at 3D printing and, and laser cutting and engraving as ways to make money, do both of them. They both fit together really well. You can make things on your 3D printer that you couldn't make otherwise. And there, there's a big market for things that are 3D printed. I mean, you can't imagine. There's just the, anything from toys and games to industrial products. There are people that have huge print farms with dozens or hundreds of these printers running all the time. Same thing with laser cutters and gravers. If you're doing 3D printing, you can buy a small laser cutter and engraver that's not a lot bigger than your, your printer, and you can make extra money. So I would encourage you to do that. I do it for fun and hobby. I've been successful in my life, and I'm trying to help you be successful in yours. So take a look at it. What about costs? In my case, I have kind of the top end of the uh, 3D printers. It's a Creality K1 Max. It's fast. It's new. It's, uh, it's about now oh, eight or nine hundred dollars, depending on when you buy it, if it's on sale, how you get it configured. My laser cutter engravers and Omtech, and those are four or five thousand dollars again, depending on how you buy it, how it's configured. So, if that's a lot of money, and if that's a problem for you, you don't have to start there. In the case of Omtech, they make cheaper machines. You can buy something that costs as little as twenty-five hundred dollars, I think. And again, in the case of 3D printers, you don't have to buy the top of the line printer. You can buy smaller ones. I started out with much smaller, much less expensive printers. For example, take a look at the Longer brand, L-O-N-G-E-R. And I'll put links to all of this in the descriptions down below. But Longer has a printer, I think it's $275, and it has a build volume that's larger than mine, it's slower, and it doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but it will do exactly what mine does, just takes a little longer, and, and uh, but it works. So, you know, take a look at Longer, Creality makes some cheaper brands, or cheaper models. So, those are things to look at. There are ways that you can combine the two products and you can make extra money. So let's say that you put $2,500 into your laser cutter and engraver. You put another, you know, we'll get something mid-range. We'll put $500 into our 3D printer. Now you've got $3,000 in this. The Cindy Lou Who sign could have sold for four or $500. I don't have to do very many of those to make a lot of money and pay it all back, and then it's all gravy after that. Now I'm making money. So if you're looking for a side hustle, something to do after hours, after work, if you're retired, take a look at doing both of these. They're both great ways to make money. Um, and if you've got time, like and subscribe to this channel. George Kenner of the George Kenner channel on YouTube, we do live streams on a regular basis about different topics. And both of us have the same goal in mind. We're both retired, we're old guys, but we want to get you off your sofa. We want to get you out there, get you active, keep your minds active. And if you want to make a little extra money, George was wildly successful in his business. I've been successful in mine. We know how to do this. We can help you. 
So like and subscribe to our channels. And uh, until next time, well, here's the end of all this. Thanks.